preserves its splendor and colonial might, its colors, palaces, and incredible convents and monasteries. I explored it, I felt it, I stared at it, and contemplated it. The Holy Week in Antigua, Guatemala, and Guatemala City is one of the world's most impressive religious manifestations. The traditional carpets made of sawdust for the occasion are true works of art. As I continued my journey to the west of Guatemala, I enjoyed a mountainous and fresh landscape. This was just the environment to get to know the various Maya descendant cultures, like the Quiche, the Cachiquel, and the Mam. In Guatemala, there are more than 20 spoken languages, and Spanish is the one that unifies them all. These living cultures pass on their knowledge and wisdom through their oral traditions. My path through the various villages of Mayan roots evokes a very unique cultural fusion. The language itself is a clear example. Maya terms within the Spanish language and Spanish words within a quiche conversation. I was delighted with the handmade corn tortillas and the taste of the chuchitos made of corn dough. They're uncomparable. I learned to say Matios, which means thank you. And I say to life Matios for bringing me here. The Guatemalan Highlands are home to important archaeological sites, besides Lake Atitlan, one of the most beautiful in the world. Atitlan is an unusual lake. It's like a mirror surrounded by three amazing volcanoes. You can only realize its greatness after you've been here. There are no words. It's simply gorgeous. I spent the afternoon and night in Panajachel, and it turned out to be a bohemian and cosmopolitan place. There are people from all over the world. The fusion of cultures is incredible. It's like a small village where all nations unite with a single purpose, to enjoy life. While you visit the highlands, don't miss spending a night in Quetzaltenango. And at dawn, you can climb by Car de Sierra de los Cuchumatanes and enjoy the view at more than 10,000 feet above sea level. In Quetzaltenango, the weather is cold, but the people are warm. Its neoclassic architecture gives it a somewhat European touch. Here, I was able to meet some Spanish students out of the thousands that arrived for the purpose. Guatemala is very diverse in many ways. When I landed in Petén, my heart was beating fast. I was about to get to know Tikal and other marvels of the Maya world. I spent the night in the island of Flores, and like many other explorers, I watched in awe as the sun surrendered to the beauty of Lake Petenitsa. Mysticism, jungles, temples, stells, wildlife, but nothing, nothing compares to sitting on top of the Serpiente de Dos Cabezas pyramid in complete silence while contemplating the dawn at a height of 230 feet. Then, I boarded a 4x4 that took me to Yasha, an ancient city located at the margins of a virgin lake. Magical, authentic, and unique experience. I was told of a place where African people grew new roots and fused their culture with that of the new world. So, I headed towards Puerto Barrios, where the heat of the Caribbean became obvious. I sailed early to get to a very special place, Livingston, another culture, another language. I had lots of fun with their music, flavors, traditions, and the rhythm of their Garifuna culture. It's a whole different Caribbean, all green, all magical, and seductive. As I returned, I sailed through a canyon that leads to the entrance of Rio Dulce, an amazing place with wonderful people. 
Afterwards, in Kiriwa, I stood next to enormous and very well preserved steles, the tallest ones of the Maya world. Some of them reach up to 32 feet, giant kings of an ancient empire. Kiriwa has the tallest steles of the Maya world and was declared human heritage by UNESCO. Green, misty, virgin. That's the region of Las Verapaces, a natural paradise. Exploring the mysterious green world of Las Verapaces is like entering a world that's not human. You feel so small before such greatness. My curiosity had me sink in the Mayan underworld, or Xibalba as they call it. The caves of Candelaria are such an experience, I just can't quite describe it. The water is turquoise, fresh and fast, and I couldn't help taking an exciting rafting trip at the Cajabón River. And later, I relaxed at these paradise-like natural pools, called Samuk Champé. When I thought of the beach, I always imagined white sands. However, here, the beaches at the Pacific are soft and of volcanic origin. 155 miles of beautiful volcanic dark sand beaches. Too bad I didn't have my surfboard with me, so I could join up a group of surfers and ride those perfect waves. Feeling that dark volcanic sand on my feet and watching the sun go down, it filled me up with energy and gave my soul peace. Due to the abundance and quality of sailfish, Guatemala is one of the best places in the world for this sport. There are also seasons for whale and dolphin watching. One of the main reasons for me to be here was to know the origins of the Maya world. So I headed for Takalikabach, the cradle of this civilization. As I walked among its more than a hundred ancient buildings, I could picture it as it evolved from the Olmecs to the splendid Maya culture. The colorful diversity of Guatemala is huge. As I visited the east, I found yet another culture and another climate. It's like a whole different place. The east of the country is the cradle of the sun. It's mystical, natural, and unique. Esquipulas is the regional site for religious pilgrimage. It's colorful and has its own traditions, which dwell around the Baroque-style basilica that holds the holy image of the Black Christ of Esquipulas. And for the second time, I climbed up a volcano, this time the one called Ipala in Chiquimula. It's relatively small, and at the crater there's an exotic lagoon. Climbing this one is not so hard, and being there was an amazing experience. On the way there, I saw different crops, and I stopped by a melon field. Naturally, I had me a nice juicy slice, which in such a warm weather, tasted like heaven. It was sweet and fresh. Colors, flavors, cultures, languages, landscapes, volcanoes, history, archaeology. Guatemala is an authentic experience. Exploring the heart of the Maya world is indescribable because it's vibrant and real. Life brought me all the way here and today my heart beats to the rhythm of the heart of the Maya world. <laughs>